Well, hello and welcome back to another Black Van and Robin video. Um, as you know, um, when went on a nice drive in the MG. Um, the new got the new rack tracks up and all my new shocks. All these new lever arms look the Armstrong. And yeah, she were motoring along, you know, doing 60s, overdrive kicked in. Anyway, it got to the end of the day and I thought, oh, I'll go out in it. Because it was a nice evening. And uh, see me mate, Wolf. And I uh, only got a few mile down the road. I got halfway there and this wheel, this um, front near side, just smoke pouring out of it and it were like jamming up. I thought my tyre had fell off. So pulled over and uh, by the time I called Wilf, he came out, bless him, and uh, by the time he came, I'd managed to um, cool it down. I jacked it up and it's kind of spinning still, kind of, it's not very, it doesn't feel graunchy or anything. There's a bit of a tight spot on it, I think. Yeah, there's a tight spot on it, but all I'd done when I got the car was I'd I'd gone round it and I noticed this um, castle nut here. It's now black because of the other day's activities. But when I bought it, this was loose and there was a load of swarf. So I took this shim out, this washer even, took a shim out, real thin shim. Um, which I don't know what I've done with, actually, thinking about it. But and then, and then I put it back, I tightened it up as tight as I could get it, put the split pin back. But this is, this castle nut seems to want to unwind. Because when I took it off this time, just now, <laughs> the split pin was all mangled. So like, it's like this nut wants to unwind. <laughs> so I don't know, I don't know why that is. Maybe, maybe some of you. <coughs> you MG boys now, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just going to strip it all down. Because I've, I've lost confidence in it. I'd got one of these anyway. From a local MG supplier. So I'm just going to put this new... I don't know what you call it. What is it? A kingpin or a stub axle? Some people call it. I think it's a stub axle. I'm going to put this new stub axle on with a new bearing kit I got from MG boy. From Rugby Spares, Rugby MG, um, and I got this bearing kit from him, which is I don't know if it's the right one though, because I've all I've got is a a big bearing, like the outer bearing or something, and a little bearing, the inner bearing. I've got no shims with it, as far as I can see. So I wonder if I've got the right one. Some bearing grease, <laughs> some new uh, bushes for the top and bottom. I might as well replace them while I'm here. I think that's what they are. I don't know what I did with my shim that I took out. It's only a little one. So, anyway, back to this. Bit of a bummer because I wanted to go to the show on Monday, Bank Holiday Monday. <laughs> So I'm undoing this bolt, I'm undoing, what's this spanner, it says it's a 5 sixteenths, whoops, and it fits just about on here, not a great fit, so I'm taking this stub axle off, and I'm going to take this caliper off, which is this bolt here, and uh, when I've stripped it all down, I'll, I'll come back to you and I'll show you if I've got the right bearing kit and stuff. But why, why the wheel jammed up on me, I don't know. So, that's the state of affairs, I'm afraid. So, I can't do this one-handed, so I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> 